Hey folks, it's Aaron here with part two of Unveiling the Origins. In our last video, we visited Bubba Gump Shrimp Co., took some samples of their peel and eat shrimp, and sent it to the lab. In this video, we're going to go over those results and hear how our testing process works from Dr. Singh. We'll also hear from Mr. Perry, a fourth generation shrimper here in the Gulf that we have had the pleasure of getting to know. Now let's dive in and meet Dr. Singh and see what he has to say about these samples and our testing process. My name is Prishant Singh and uh, I'm a food safety microbiologist by training. I got my PhD from the University of Missouri. I did my postdoc from University of Georgia. And my major focus and my specialization is development of rapid diagnostic areas, methods. So in my research experience, I have principally focused on foodborne pathogens say sugar toxin producing E. coli, salmonella and I have been developing diagnostic assays since for 12, 13 years. My specialization is developing method for any bacterial identification of any bacterial species or seafood specimen. During this journey I met with a couple of industry experts who expressed the need for development of methods for rapid and on-site identification of seafood specimen. And during that conversation, we weighed on which one first to target and which one to target later on. We, based on that discussion, we figured out like uh, detection, on-site identification of sea uh, shrimp is one of the most important commodity which needs focus on. So on that journey, what happened that during that communication with industry expert, they clearly mentioned that our needs are simple. We do not have access to fancy laboratory, high-end lab laboratory with high-end expensive equipments. We have only access to a small area where we can have few equipments and which does not cost much. So we are looking at a very simple and a very robust assay which can be performed at our facility by a hard technician which are not college educated highly educated people so when they mentioned that need we started working on it and so far we have developed a white shrimp identification method which can be performed at any processing facility the method is very simple it includes uh, use of device which is like this small and then the detection of the final product can be performed using lateral flow strips which are very equivalent to a pregnancy test strip and which results and we can generate the results in less than two hours. In addition to developing rapid genetic testing methods, my lab also provides seafood species identification services to seafood industry. If you have a sample, if you purchase a large batch of fish and you want to verify exact accurate identity of that fish sample, you can send it to our lab and we provide you results based on FDA standard testing protocol. So during that we have developed and standardized all the method for which is recommended by FDA for identification of seafood specimen. So we received recently received some shrimp samples. These samples were taken out, they look like this. And as these samples can have cross contaminate, so what we did to get a very clean sample, which is not contaminated, we dissected the samples from very bottom, and then we collected from deep core of the shrimp, a tiny bit of tissue from the heart, which was cannot be contaminated. So that tissue sample was used for DNA isolation and using standard method and what we did after that the samples was parallelly tested with three different methods a standard uh, uh, rapid method which employs using of this small device which can generate results in two hours the second method to validate that result what we got we used conventional PCR method and to triple check that method we also use a very high-end equipment. 
to further validate that we are getting the right result or not we also sent our samples for the sequencing of cytochrome 1 oxidase gene and to our sequencing facility and the results from that indicates that the sample we received for testing of the shrimp sample was a vaname shrimp so the sample this is 100 percent matches with the vaname shrimp thank you thank you for your expertise dr singh those results are truly shocking and leave no room for interpretation the length you took to not only validate these results, but to also ensure the accuracy of our rapid test speaks volumes. This innovative way to rapidly test seafood species is so valuable because it doesn't take an operator with a background in lab testing, and the equipment is readily accessible, unlike more expensive and time-consuming methods. The origins of Bubba Gump Shrimp Co's Peel and Eat Shrimp have been unveiled. They are clearly using farm-raised imported shrimp. Now, let's take a moment to think about the impact of these results. These Vanamai farm-raised shrimp don't originate anywhere near the Gulf of Mexico. And with a declining domestic shrimp industry, this is a tough thing to comprehend. Although Bubba Gum Shrimp Co. does not explicitly say they use Gulf shrimp, this restaurant embodies the heart of the Gulf and a story behind Gulf fisheries. But behind the smoke and mirrors and Bubba Gump marketing paraphernalia, the reality is far different. So, the question is, why not use domestic peel and eat gulf shrimp? This not only applies to Bubba Gump Shrimp Co., but many other restaurants that also benefit from the image of the gulf, leaving gulf fisheries behind, and contributing next to nothing to the industry. With this in mind, let's hear from someone closely involved in the industry. My name is Perry Serlot. I was born in Cody, in Alabama. I've a commercial fourth generation commercial fisherman I've shrimped out of Bala Battery, Alabama. I built my first boat when I came back from Vietnam in 1970. I built two other steel hulls and shrimp till 2005 and I converted my boat over to research because things were getting hard and I was getting older. And, and research was a lot easier for me in the boat. Commercial shrimping was good to me for a lot of years. I've done well and I went from smaller boats up to bigger boats. And the industry has just changed now. The import shrimp is just killing the industry. I don't know how anybody young can come into the business and afford to build a boat and make a living out of it. The people that's in it have boats and they are just hanging on. When, when this generation of shrimpers is gone, there will be no more if things don't change. It's really ironic that they are using a fictional character that fought in Vietnam are now selling Vietnam seafood in their restaurants where people think they're wild caught. The fictional character I'm talking about is Forrest Gump, who is supposed to be a volibatory shrimper. And now they're selling pond raised shrimp from Vietnam. That's a slap in the face to a Vietnam vet shrimper and all other American shrimpers too. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and experiences with us, Mr. Perry. Unlike Forrest Gump, Mr. Perry's life truly represents the heart of the Gulf fishing industry. Unfortunately, his story is a story shared by many. Ask any commercial Gulf fisherman and they would have something to say about the state of the industry. Our organization is trying to get our message across with heart and soul, while also respecting everyone's right to form their own opinions. That being said, when Mr. Perry talks about how much this cost matters, it really emphasizes that this crisis needs our attention. The heritage of the Gulf and the many generations that have cherished and lived off the water are going through some of the toughest times, and they need our support. Ultimately, we want people to understand the challenges domestic shrimpers face and continue to support local wild-caught shrimp. 
Well, we solved this mystery. Without a doubt, you will not find golf peel and eat shrimp on Bubba Gump Shrimp Co's menu. But there's far more to come. We invite you to join our movement for transparency. By participating in our program, you can support local gulf fishermen and indulge in peel and eat shrimp that truly honor our coastal traditions. Subscribe to our channel to hear more about our organization and how you can be involved in the testing process. Stay tuned for our next chance to unveil the origins. Remember folks, we're on a mission to uncover the truth. Join us as we unlock the secrets behind our favorite seafood dishes. Until then, keep exploring, keep enjoying, and keep savoring the taste of the sea.